episode of Pharaohs 101. Today we are in the Red Pyramid of Dashur. This is Nefru's Pyramid, son of Huni, who is regarded as the kindest and the most benevolent of ancient kings. There is an ancient story. Um, in the story, the king is shown as a jolly good fellow when he calls in a prophet to entertain him with tales. He himself takes pen in hand to write the words, calling the commoner prophet my friend and addressing his courtiers with the word comrades, which is used by laborers and articians as a mode of address to one another. Now, Snefru built three pyramids and probably more, and that's quite a lot for a, a pharaoh. The theory is that the pyram pyramid at Maidum was originally his father's and he finished it, but what, it wasn't very good. So he built the Ben Pyramid, which ended up not being very good either. So he went on to build the Red Pyramid, which is believed to be his final resting place. During Snefru's raids into Libya and Nubia, he was able to capture prisoners and cattle to sustain his pyramid building. The theory is all good and well, but if you take into account the fact that he was such a nice ruler and that he had so many resources, I mean, we can say that he created the pyramids maybe for his wives or as tombs for the viziers or other high officials. Well, let's go check out the pyramid. Here we are inside the Red Pyramid of Dashur. It was one of the first pyramids that included internal structure, and therefore this corbel vaulted ceiling that you see was included for support. Here we are coming on to the burial chamber. Here we are with Snefer's burial chamber behind me. His mummy is yet to be found. Ah. What was that? Ah. 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 No mummies were harmed in the making of this video.